皆さんこんにちは、ハニューズルです。僕の描いた。There are many players who become estranged after leaving the club, but Hanyu took the trouble to come and say hello on an airplane. Brian was very happy about that. Hanyu holding shoulders with Brian. That's what Mai Noguchi, a sports writer, interviewed Brian Orser, 61, in June. Orser is a former coach who led Yuzuru Hanyu, 28, to his second straight Olympic title. Mr. Orsa revealed this in an interview with Mr. Noguchi. When Yuzu was overwhelmed with emotion and started crying, I instinctively hugged him. She has endured it for three days, and my tears have reached their limit. Number July 6. In April of this year, Han Yu visited Toronto, Canada for the first time in three years. The destination was the second hometown, Cricket Club, which Han Yu had been based in since 2012. They had been in a master student relationship for 11 years, but it seems that this was the first reunion after turning pro. They stayed at the club for three days and joined the practice together with the children. Tears of teacher and student happened during the speech to the children on the last day of the club. Just before he burst into tears, Han Yu improvised and perfectly recreated past programs such as Say May and Ballad No. 1 at the request of the club's children. It is said that the children who made the request stood still when they saw Han Yu's ability. In order to close the distance between them, Han Yu made a rare speech himself. Every day of practice, the importance of effort, the feeling of facing a match, the mental attitude of a professional, number, July 6. Han Yu burst into tears and suddenly put her knees on the ice and muttered, I miss this ice. Normally, Han Yu Khan practices alone at night when the rink is empty. Above all, he must have been happy to be able to practice with his friends and coach after a long absence at the home rink full of memories. It seems that he and Brian hugged each other many times. Previously mentioned Mai Noguchi. Han Yu must have had a strong feeling that he was saved by Canada's ice of life. Perhaps to repay the favor, he led the children from the first day they arrived, performing the steps he had been taught several years ago without difficulty. After turning pro, Han Yu always practiced those steps even during ice show practice. He saw Patrick Chan, 32, at a game and skated with him during official practice. I guess he decided that he would be a role model for his juniors next time. Mr. Noguchi mentioned above. I will tell my juniors on my back. Han Yu's passion continues to burn quietly on the ice. What do Spielberg and Yuzur Han Yu have in common? You may suddenly think what I'm talking about, but Steven Spielberg's Eastern Time is just that. Yuzuru Hanyu, 28, brilliantly won two Olympic gold medals in the figure skating men's singles competition. Winnie the Pooh was one of those emotional pillars that led him to these victories. The sight of a large number of Pooh plush toys thrown into the skating rink could impress many people. He carried a box of Pooh's tissues and occasionally placed a Pooh stuffed animal on the side of the rink during practice. According to the Athlete Research Institute's full text of the Yuzuru Hanyu interview, published by Goma Books, he said, looking at that unchanging expression, I feel relaxed. Out of the blue, there's a Pixar movie called Inside Out, 2015. This is a story about the adventures of five emotions in the head of Riley Anderson, an 11 year old girl. She feels lonely after moving from the countryside to the city. Her emotional support was an imaginary friend named Bing Bong. Like Bing Bong for her, the imaginary friends she had as a child are referred to as imaginary friends. Like Riley, it seems that only children are more likely to have such fantasies. It might be a bit of an exaggeration to call Pu Yuzuru Hanyu an imaginary friend, but it can be said that he was the person who supported him emotionally. Childhood friendship with aliens, Spielberg also had an imaginary friend when he was a child. According to John Baxter's translation of The Man Who Fell to Earth, The Steven Spielberg story, Katakawa Shoten, his parents divorced when he was young. It seems he was bullied at school because he was short. He was saved by a fantastic dream that there might be aliens in space who would befriend him. In the bonus footage of the secret history of the birth of the extraterrestrial DVD Blu ray, he says, A baby is the alter ego of me and my family when I was a kid. Ever since I started making movies, I wanted to fill the hearts of lonely kids. My friends healed me.